Hello everybody, um, I'm LG. I posted uh, some hands on PokerTube already and uh, one video. And uh, the last couple of days I played um, a lot of tournaments on uh, PokerStars. And uh, one something, I finished third in a um, Omaha tournament. And uh, yesterday I finished third in another Omaha tournament and uh, I got like Wait a second, got like $721 on PokerStars now, which isn't a lot, but uh, it's okay, I guess. And uh, today I wanted to uh, want to play this um, <laughs> uh, 150k guaranteed uh, hold'em tournament. So I'm uh, going a bit crazy tonight, because it's almost half of my bankroll, but... I mean, I played uh, 300 Euro tournaments before, but not with that kind of runners. I mean, it must be over 500 to get to 150k, or almost 500, but I guess it will be more than 500. So, uh, I don't really think I got good chances to finish in the money, but... <laughs> what the fuck, I mean, it's Saturday night and I wanted to play a big tournament. So I just do it. It's it's one money anyway. So I guess I could could qualify for it, but I don't really like these qualifying tournaments. And there's no nothing really good. No. Uh, one hundred. I don't. I don't pay one hundred seven eighty five to qualify for a three twenty tournament and don't do it. And then I have to pay the three twenty anyway. That's pretty stupid. No, I, I'm just registering now. Three twenty. I got four ninety eight left. Yeah. Well, I hope I get a good starting spot where I get lucky from sometimes. Extended registration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where's me? There I am. From Munich. So um, I'm doing this video because I, I need to test uh, the Camtasia software first because I didn't record in over a year and I got Windows 7 now. So I really want to test it by playing something. Let's just see. I like to play uh, six-handed tables. Let's just take this one. Wait a second, I have to reconfigure this. I hope you can see things because the window is a bit bigger than oh wait I can right that's it's focus stars I can make it bigger so no I don't want to wait for the blind don't really care about 50 cent <laughs> I mean they played so bad anyway so you can really take away this uh, when you li uh, have to pay your blind first hand don't normally wait for the big blind so I got 10-7 here. It's like really, really, really good here. Especially in the big blind. So he's thinking about paying. No, he doesn't. Raise 125. I'm gonna fold this. He's too short stacked to make me put anything in the pot. Got an ace. Always a raise, 600. Sorry about that, I got um, distracted. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's okay. I raised on the button, he shoved. I mean, at, this, at these stakes they shove with everything. They shove his king jack, queen jack, ace eight, ace seven, two sevens, two eights. I, I'm gonna call this. I got my ace. Well, it might not be good, but... Okay, now I, I'm definitely good. Except he has ace jack. King jack Z, he, he's shoving with everything. Two big, hand, uh, two big cards he's shoving. Every pair he's shoving. So uh, I'm really, really gonna call this with an ace. Especially with an ace nine, which isn't really a uh, bad ace. Ah, see, he's shoving again. Now he's gonna call this, I think. So. I mean, I'm like always winning at these tables. Yesterday I started with 25, which is ex actually the maximum I got to 180. 
about three hours. Okay, I'm not gonna call this. And I, I got really unlucky also. I called with ace 10 through the two all ins, and the one guy had king green, the other guy had king jack, and the flop was queen 10 something. So, what can you do? 10 5, gonna bet this. Gonna fold, yeah. Nothing there you can really have. Queen 6, gonna fold this. So, uh, it's going to be starting in. Uh, Wait a second, one hour and ten minutes. So let's see if I can win this. I mean it must be must be like thirty or forty thousand for first place. I will definitely buy a, a new car then. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna raise six seven suited. It's a bad race actually, these stakes because they shove too often. Ah well now he folds. I mean, you can pretty much raise every hand because they fold a lot or they sharp, then you can fo easily fold 6-7. I'm not gonna call this. So it's it's really easy money. Yeah, well, <laughs> should have called maybe. <laughs> but they're too short stacked. If he's got like 30 bucks, I maybe call just to outplay him on the flop. But I can really outplay him when he's got 10 dollars. $10. One of them just sucks. Yeah, one is gonna call. Now one is gonna shove. No, got my ace. Got a backdoor diamond draw. The king has is a split. It's on the board. I'm gonna bet this. He's got a better ace. I had a, uh, got a hit a three. Mate, diamonds. So I mean, with what he has in front of him, I never fold top pair. Ice cream, it's pretty good. Yeah, well, insta fold. <sighs> gonna check folds this, yes. Really don't have to play that bad hands. I'm gonna call this. See what he does. Checks. I got bought a pair. I'm gonna bet. I, I mean, I don't care if he has something he's gonna call, I'm gonna check it down unless I hit something on the turn. So. Don't have to slow play anything here. Four seven. Ah, I'm, I'm gonna give it to him. Don't really wanna play it. Four seven. <coughs> I mean, heads up. I like to play high cards, or at least one high card. Don't really like to call this deuce five or anything three four. You're really gonna lose money uh, this way. Unless you can really outplay them and they're super tight. Uh, that's that's a perfect card on the turn for him. Can't see how I'm winning this. Could have fives or something. Or six eight or six fifty, that's like an overbet to the pot. You can't really beat anything. Gonna give it to him. Nice call on the flop. Maybe add a cream. Seven five gonna raise this. I mean it's al also low cards, but seven five suited is the end where you can flop some draws maybe and get it in, bluff him out or don't know. Yeah, that's like a really bad hand. So I'm gonna record for some some more hands and I'm gonna stop playing, waiting for the the tournament to start. It's like a bad flop. I can bet this easily. I mean, I I I play the board. Doesn't matter what comes on the river. Either he has something or he doesn't. So, so he folds. Don't put him on anything there, because he didn't raise pre-flop. Can't really have much though. So if he got the ace, he's gonna call. I'm gonna check it down. Uh, well, min raise. I'm gonna call the seven five. I got a gut shot. So if he bets uh, small, then I'm gonna call once. Maybe get it all in on the turn if I hit my straight. One, it's half a pot. I'm just gonna call for backdoor draws, like my flush draw. Yeah, well, there's a flush also. I'm gonna call up to 150 maybe. Two. Could have a flush already, I'm drawing that, so. Don't really like this. 
I could raise, of course, but this is just too short stack to, to it's just doesn't seem right to raise there. I don't think he's gonna fold anything. Yeah, I'm gonna call this king seven. Bad flop. Could be good so, but don't wanna play this. Queen ten suited is nice setup. Uh, every time I have something, it's, g it's gonna fold. So have to wait for for some cooler maybe. Seven nine, bad flop. Check it down. I mean, I could raise this also. He maybe has king jack, but then he calls, and I'm almost dead. So it's not like I haven't seen these calls before. Like s s king high, ten high. On on these flops, so th these are really brilliant players. <laughs> I mean, you cannot play them like super easily. If you flop the nuts, just min raise them. They call. If they hit the turn, like one pair, they get it all in. It's really easy. Yeah, I raised it too. Get six high. So I'm not really winning something. Seven bucks, but. I mean, nobody plays if I have a big hand, can't do anything. So he called my race, I'm gonna bet it once, just see if he has an ace. Yeah, he does, so I'm gonna fold. I mean, that's just, you race, they have an ace, they get the ace, then they win the pot, and otherwise I win it. It's just that's the way it is. 10 jack suited. Got a gut shot, I have to bet this really. I mean, I don't know, the seven came. If he has an ace, he's never gonna fold. He has aces with a queen kicker. If he has a seven, he's gonna raise me <coughs> now. So I'm gonna check it, hope, hoping he checks. Maybe bet some more. Oh well, super. Superbly played. I raise, I always hit the ace. Can't do anything about that. I'm gonna play the 810 on the button. Not not what I'd suggest you to do, but I mean, I don't care. So now I hit my 10, I have to bet anything. So he's calling, I put him on 9s, maybe 8s. He could have flushed, or I'm gonna bet this. Don't really wanna check a pair, so he folds. Could have jack 8, jack 9, just calling for a gut shot or something. Maybe ace king even. If you if you play against these kind of players, these that are so bad you can't ever check really, unless you put them on a big hand, which they occasionally do have, like now tens and eights. Hey, king moves, but you really gotta put it in if you have a pair. I mean eights is a little bit small. I like to have nines and over to put it in, in these stakes, but. Always depends on stack sizes too. Uh, well I hit nothing. I'm gonna check this. Now I have a flush draw. I think my flush is good. If I make it, of course. No, maybe 10 high even is good. Could have 7 4. <laughs> I'm just gonna call. I mean, he could bet queen high, king high, but let's just see what he has. You see, got him dominated. He puts in more money with 4 high. I mean, it's just stupid to play like that. 7 8. I, I'm just gonna call this. I don't know, it's a bad call anyway, so. It's a, it's a really, really, really bad flop for me. Can't even bluff in that position, so that's why it was a bad call. I don't call this 8 high in that position against the limp and a raise. So now if I have bluffed, I have to fold because he bets and he raises anyway, so. Well played. Can't really bluff that against three other players with a king queen on board. I mean, if, if it's a deuce deuce three flop or something, I can really bluff. But uh, king queen, I can't bluff. Oh, now I only have a gut shot. I'm not betting this. I could, I could easily win 150. So he calls the race, checks, checks. Gonna fold this. Never good. Could have five high. 
still not calling. It's too dangerous. So yeah, well now he raises too. Oh gosh. I'm gonna call this once. Just see, let's see what Scott brings. Uh, that's that's a miracle. I mean, that's just. So now I have to get the rest of his money. I don't know. Do, if I just call, he might put it in on the table. Let's let's just try that. So now I have enough flush to also get a flush. I'm dead. What, 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 yeah. Okay. Superbly played. Uh, I mean, he's putting it in anyway, so I can't do much about this flop, flopping top two. He raises me with a 6-7 stupid, so that's just unlucky that he hit his flush and I, di I didn't redraw on him with, with like 11 outs. It's just bad. Okay, I got 85 cent left. <laughs> I should have gone all in, but I mean, I can't beat anything, so let's just fold this. Yeah, well, let's go all in, swap six. That's just the way it is. If you get unlucky in poker, you can't win. It's, I mean, he had a decent hand, he had a flush draw and he called. So, I don't really care that he has won. I got worse beats already. So now I got a straight with 85 cent in the pot. <laughs> I could, uh, of course, rebuy, but I don't want to play anymore. So, if I'm out, I'm out. King 10, Jack 8. Nice, nice. Fabulously played. Cut it in 6 high. <laughs> One with the straight. Uh, I hope this happens later, too. I really want to uh, get in the money. At least get my 300 back or something. I'm not thrilled with this, but. I mean, what the heck, it's better than to lose 300. That's why I don't like to play these big tournaments. Because uh, you really have a hard time conditioning in the money and oh, most likely you only win a little bit or you uh, you lose 300, so you really have to win one of these. I mean, it's not like I played the first, first time, but I never won 300 something tournament. I won like um, a 100 euro tournament twice, but it's not really that much money, especially not if this isn't with, with, with more than 100 runners. So I got a set, yeah, I filled up. I only lose to nine screens, 10 eight, 10 king diamonds. And he was drawing that on the turn. Well, I think I'm on a roll now. Getting back from 85 cent to 885 is pretty, pretty damn good, I think. But still, I, I mean, I could be on on something like uh, 70 or 80 already when he doesn't hit his flush or hit my retro or something. But what can you do? I'm gonna raise everything now. Really don't want to play anymore. I, uh, either I'm getting lucky, they, or they fold, or I don't know. I'm getting it in bad and. Yeah, well, well played. Yeah, race, re race all in. Well, well, what you gonna do? If they have it, they have it. Kings and sevens. Was pretty dead. Okay, that's a nice flop for me, so. Flash draw and a pair. But here's a set, full house. <sighs> well played. <laughs> Got it in with sevens. Uh, that's, that's what I mean. They get it in really, really, really damn bad. A raise, a call, a re-raise, and he shoves all in for no fold equity whatsoever. So, how can you blaze so bad? Should have maybe called this raise. I was playing any hand anyway, so. <laughs> Jack 9 is, is like my favorite hand. Especially if it's suited. You can really, really, really flop nice uh, double gut shot straight draws with, with this hand that, that uh, are very hidden from, from your opponents when you hit it. So that's why I like to play Jack-9. Like a 7, 8, 5 flop. 7, 8, 5. That's, that's pretty decent with Jack-9. So if you hit a sec 6, you're already good. Always good, I mean. And uh, if you hit a 10, you, you just got the nuts. And if someone has like 9, 6, 
Uh, he's gonna he's gonna go broke. That's what. Or if he has ten, so I said, never put you on Jack Nine. Got the eight ten suited. Let's just see what comes. Okay, I got a double gut shot. I'm gonna put it all in because he's gonna call me if he is nice. I have no doubt about it. If he doesn't, uh, he he might fold a jack or something. Well, he calls ace ten. Yeah, that's bad. Can only even lose a nine. King would split it. Well played. I mean, I'm putting it in for my for my double gut shot draw. So that's. Uh, my play for for now i'm gonna put this video on tonight i don't know when because i don't know how far i will go if, uh, if it does take me seven hours you gonna know i have won this but i doubt that maybe i'm putting it on at 10 11 o'clock something so uh, wish me good luck and see you thanks guys